In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to take screenshots on your iPad. Now, this is very simple. All you have to do is locate the power button and the volume up button. Now, if you have one of these modern iPads, the volume button, they, they keep interchanging because you have what you call dynamic volume buttons and the volume buttons will change between the up and volume down buttons, depending on how you're holding the iPad. So the first thing you want to do is know which orientation you have so just press the buttons and then you can see using this animation which one is volume up and which one is volume down so if i hold the ipad like this it means this one is volume up and this is volume down so to take a screenshot just press the power button and volume up buttons just press once and release and it has to be simultaneous so you have to press both buttons at the exact same time so power volume up just press once and release and as you can see that takes a screenshot very simple let's do that again so power volume up press once once you go big pardon let's try again there you go and it takes a screenshot it's literally that simple so all screenshots are saved in the gallery so if you go into the photos app you will find your screenshots there here are the screenshots i've just taken and also if you want to you can find them in a special folder called screenshots so if you tap on that then you can see all the screenshots there now you can also take scrolling screenshots on your ipad if you're on a browser page like this one which is obviously a scrollable page like this Instead of taking multiple screenshots, you can actually take a scrolling screenshot. So to do that, just open that scrollable page and then take a normal screenshot. Once again, I'll press the power and volume up. And as soon as it takes a screenshot, before that thumbnail disappears, tap on it. And then you'll have the option to select full page. Now, if you tap on that, it's going to capture the entire page, as you can see. Okay, so the screenshot is captured in the entire page. And if you want to, you can crop any parts that you don't want, or you can just go ahead and save. So to save, just tap on done and then tap on save to photos. So that's basically how to take scrolling screenshots. Now, if you go back to our gallery and look at photos, then you will see in your most recent photos, you should have your scrolling screenshot. Okay. So you can see the entire page was captured in this scrolling screenshot. So that is basically how to take scrolling screenshots on the iPad. Now, when you take a screenshot on your iPad, just before you save, so for instance, I can take a screenshot like this. And then if I tap on the thumbnail quickly, I'll have the option to share the screenshot even without saving. So if you want to, you can just, uh, use these options you can either share it via airdrop messages email you can save it in notes you can do all that stuff immediately you can even go ahead and print your screenshots now if you want to save them to files you can just go ahead and use that option there to save to files and in the top left corner if you tap on done you can actually see if you don't want to keep the screenshot you can go ahead and delete it you can copy and delete which basically means it's going to get copied to your clipboard just before it gets deleted or once again you have the options to save to photos and save to files thanks for watching comments and questions down below and good luck